Hey guys, how are you doing today? Hope that you are doing amazing and fantastic. So yes, I'm in a, I'm in my, uh, my little cozy corner because I just really, really wanted to be in my comfy little chair and just, hello Cleo. Um, like always, she has now been, I think she's like a, a perpetual, she just wants to be in in the video on mama's lap in that right baby girl yeah so um don't mind cleo she's just gonna you know chillax with us and everything like that so as you guys know today's video is going to be all about the may cozy releases and i know we are like 19 days into the month of may um but i mean at least most of these books are out now, right? I mean, that's a thing that uh, that we can, you know, be excited about. Am I right? Yeah? Okay, guys, at the end of the school year, it's really busy, and then like everything else that's been going on with life and just all of that, I know, excuses, excuses. I need to, you know, be better at that, but Without further ado, I'm gonna stop rambling. Let's get into it. So the very first book that I have is Read on Revival. And this is a bookmobile series by Nora Page and it is the second book in the series and it released on May 7th. Now I will have all of the links to these books down below. I have a blog already written on my um, my website, which is courttagonist.com. If you guys aren't following, you should be. And if you are a part of my um, monthly newsletter email, I will leave that down below if you aren't, but you also got a sneak peek of all of these as well. Um, but let's get into this bookmobile mystery series. So this book is all about Cleo Watkins. She is a librarian. She believes in manners, sweet tea, and justice. Library justice. And she is trying to get the um, this woman who checked out a book. Um, her name is Dixie Huddleston. And this is the longest book in the whole entire town of Cattlepaw Springs. It is the... Uh, most overdue volume for the library ever. And she is shocked when Dixie actually reveals to Cleo that she is finally going to turn in her book um, because she has seen the omens and she just knows that she is, her life is starting, is going to end soon, basically. Um, and she's about to die and she's setting her affairs in order. You know, Cleo dismisses Dixie's crazy shenanigans and the fact that she believes that she's going to die. Um, and her and her friend Henry show up at Dixie's house to find her dead. The police, um, also believe that it is murder and but somehow they see Cleo as the main suspect so Cleo has to sort of um clear her name and figure out the who done it before the killer turns the final page on someone she loves the most so that was read on arrival or read on arrival it's like dead on arrival by Nora Page and it is the second one in the series all right, so book number two is The Satapur Moonstone. It is a Purveen mystery novel by Shajata Macy or Massey. I'm probably not saying any of those words right. It is book number two and it released on May 14th. So this is another cozy that is set in the 1920s, except this time it is um, rainy season in the lush remote Sayadri Mountains in the princely state of Sadapur, which is tucked away. And I am going to pre-apologize to anyone who um, knows how to say these words, and I don't know. So a curse seems to have fallen upon the Sadapur rural family um, whose Mahajra died of a sudden death, and then the... Um, and then shortly before his uh, teenage son was struck down in a tragic hunting accident and now the state is being ruled by British Raj on behalf of the Sadapurs um, to Maharanis, Maharanis, 
um, the Dowager Queen and her daughter-in-law. They have a dispute over how the um, young crown prince is going to be educated and the they do not, um, the Maharanis uh, live in Perda and do not speak to men. So there's just one person to help with this whole entire situation and that is Perveen Mystery. She is Bombay's only female lawyer and it seems like she is determined to bring peace to the royal household and make a sound recommendation for the young prince's um, future. But it seems like there's a lot more going on in the um, palace than has been led on. And so, um, I don't know. I like that this is diverse and that this is different and it's not something that I normally read. So I, I just, I don't know. I really, really like it. So um, I'm excited about that. That's the Satapur Moonstone, a Praveen mystery novel by Shujata Macy or Masai, Met Massey. Um, and it looks, it looks really, really good as well. Book number three is A Twist in the Tale, an absolute perfect cozy mystery by Lee Ann Dobbs. This released on May 16th and it is book one in the series and of course guys I'm already loving it because there's kitty cats on the cover. I mean do you see Cleo right here? Like hold on look at her. Look at her. Cleo, Cleo. She's just like all over me and it's just it's ridiculous. Um, but this one is $2.99 on Kindle right now. So that's not too bad to like try out a cozy and see if you like it. Am I right? So this is all about Josie Waters. She is, she's making very, very drastic and um, quick life decisions. She is sort of starting her, her life all over again when she is desperate to flee Ohio and away from her ex-husband who loved his job more than he loved her and actually left her for it. And so she decides to purchase the Oyster Cove guest house. Um, it's a really, really cute, charming Victorian mansion. But it seems like there's a lot of things that she has to fix up with it as well and things are falling apart and then there's these guests who are regulars but are kind of weird and mysterious. She also might regret um, agreeing to take in the two cats that come with the house and treat them in the way that they have become accustomed. Um, and she thinks that, you know, that's not the, that, that, that's the end. That's like, that's all the things she has to put up with. However, her very first guest you know, turns up dead. And so she's gotta try and figure out how she's going to fix that as well. And I don't know, it looks cute. It looks really cute. Book number four is Murder with Cucumber Sandwiches. It is a Daisy Tea Garden mystery series by Karen Rose Smith. And this is book number three in the series. So there is a restaurant critic, Derek Shoemaker, who is notorious for his bitter, catty, and kind of hateful reviews. And it seems like he's about to visit Daisy's tea garden. Um, Daisy and her aunt Iris are sort of like very, very anxious and shaky about what's going to go on because a bad review from a culinary curmudgeon could really hurt their business. And so they, they think everything's going well, especially when he actually orders a to-go um, plate and it turns out that he is found killed the next day with some poison in his food. And it seems that there are quite a lot of people who hate him. He's been getting um, hate mail in and she is hoping that she can clear her name and clear her her new um, restaurant as well from being the, the people who killed him. So that is um, the Murder with Cucumber Sandwiches, which is a Daisy Tea Garden mystery series, and that comes out on May 28th. So it has not come out yet. It will be out um, later this week, actually. Book number five is Murder, She Uncovered. It is the Murder, She Reported series by Peg Cochran. This is book number two and it releases on May 28th. And the last time I checked, it is on Amazon for $4.99, which is a pretty good deal um, as well for a cozy. And I'm really excited because this is a 1930s cozy, which I've been really, really into lately. 
So this is based in West Hampton, 1938, and Elizabeth Biz Adams is quickly establishing herself as a, an amazing photographer for the Daily Trumpet, and she is growing more and more confident in her um, pursuance of a career. And she has her little sidekick, which is um, her reporter sidekick, Ralph Kaminsky. And they are sent over to Long Island to sort of report a little bit more on a maid's murder. It seems like um, a maid was killed and they, at first they think it was because of a terrible storm called the, um, Great New England hurricane, but it's soon found that she has a uh, a wound on the side of her head that actually screams homicide. And it seems even more so when the young maid is discovered to be pregnant and the young woman's boyfriend emerges as the likeliest suspect, but as Elizabeth keeps digging and digging, she finds that the there might be someone who is trying to cover their tracks in the maid's um employer household and so she's got to try and find a way to clear the young maid's name and figure out the who done it i again i've been reading a lot of 1930s kind of vintage cozy mysteries and i've been really really enjoying them so that is Murder, She Uncovered. It is the second book in the Murder, She Reported series by Peg Cochran, and it comes out on May 28th. Whew! That was a lot of talking, but it was a lot of really, really good books. Let me know if you've read some of them since um, over half of them have already come out. Let me know what you guys think about the ones that are still to come out. What are your favorite types of cozies? Let me know down below. I can try and look for more of those different types of cozies um, when I'm looking at the different releases that are coming out. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy reading. Bye.